In this video, we're going to use view components to break up our application into logical components that can also be reused throughout our application. So in this case, we're looking at this friends logic here. It really doesn't deserve to be on the application level, the very top application level. Um, this really can be broken out into a separate friends module, or in this case, view would call it a separate friends component. So let's go up here and Ideally, this would be in a different file, but we can go view component and we can define a new component. In this case, we'll just call it friend. And then it can get an object, which is realistically almost identical to this view application object that we're creating here. It can have a template. Let's give it a template. It can have its own filters and its own methods. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and take these filters out of here and I'm going to put them up into our friend component since they really, this is logic that has to do only with our friend, our friend component and same with these methods there. So actually I can completely remove those altogether. And I can also remove all of this. This is stuff that has to do with a single friend. So all this information in the template here has to do with a single friend. I'm going to do a single div here and then add all of that information wrapped inside of that single div. So that is our friend component. Now all we have to do is instead of rendering an H2 for each friend, we can render a friend uh, and this name comes from the component name. So when we register a component by name, we can then spit that component out on any page as an HTML tag. So then for each friend in our list, we are going to spit out a friend. Now this will not work. And the reason this will not work is, is because it's not receiving any data. If I look here in my console, you can see we have no property friend, nothing's defined here. So we have to say, I'm going to expect some data to be passed in here. And this is called props. I'm going to get a friend object. Cause as you can see in here, we're expecting friend.age friend, full name. Basically we're expecting an object called friend. And then we can V bind this friend and it gets the value of friend. So we're essentially saying, take this item here called friend and let's pass it in and we will call it friend in our component. So there we go. That's coming in and now everything should work. It would work if I had a comma right there. There we go. We can see everything works. Everything upgrades. We can change that to Bob, change that to Johnny. And now everything's completely abstracted. This friend could be in a completely different file out there. And our application would now look like this. We have our main level application with our main level data only. And then we're going to spit out child components uh, that get the data that relates to them passed down in. And that's kind of the basis for how you would build an application in view. You create a bunch of components, register them all, and then you can inject them as if they were HTML elements. So it's extremely simple to work with view components. Um, and just to make completely certain where these names are coming from, I'm going to call this friend components. And now it actually changed this to friend components. So that's that name there. And if we were to call this V item in friends, then we would pass item in and we're binding that as if the component, the component receives the value of item and the component receives it as the value called friend, if that makes sense. So this will still work. Everything is still good. And so that's kind of where all those names are getting related to. So that's how you use components to break up your Vue.js application.